Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make red velvet brownies. The red velvet brownies with white chocolate chips and topped with cream cheese frosting. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So let's get started. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Lightly grease an 8 inch square pan and set it aside for now. Then into a large bowl, add in the melted butter, sugar, brown sugar, and cocoa powder, and whisk them until they're well combined. Then add in the egg, egg yolk, vanilla extract, and red food coloring. Whisk them until they're combined. Then keep whisking it vigorously for another minute until the mixture lightens in color. Then add in the flour, salt, white vinegar, and chopped white chocolate, or you can use chocolate chips, and mix them in just until they're combined. Try not to overmix the batter. Pour the batter into the prepared pan. Spread it out until it's even. And bake it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. When it's done, remove it from the oven and let it cool for at least an hour until it's completely cooled. You don't want it warm when you add the frosting or the frosting will melt. To make the cream cheese frosting, in a medium bowl, add in the softened cream cheese and softened butter, and beat them with an electric mixer until they're combined and smooth. Then sift in the powdered sugar, mix it in on low speed until it's combined, Then beat it on high speed for another 1-2 to two minutes until the mixture is light. Then add in the vanilla extract. Mix it in until it's combined. And finish it by hand to combine all the ingredients. Once the brownies are completely cooled, spread the frosting all over the top. Then just cut and serve. And that's how to make red velvet brownies. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give this video a like, and check out my channel for many more videos, and subscribe to my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.